let's try going the other way. Let's try writing an equation of an ellipse given all this information about our ellipse. Its center is at 0, 0, which means we can use the standard form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. We're given the location of our foci and we have a major axis length of 10. Now again, whenever you're dealing with conic sections, it's always easier to sketch a graph. We know our foci are at negative 4, 0 and 4, 0. Let's say that's here and there. Since our foci are on our x-axis, that means our x-axis is our major axis, and we're told that our major axis length is 10. So if I have a major axis vertice here and here, the distance between these is 10. That means that the distance from this vertice to our center is 5. It also means that that distance is a. So using this information, we found our a value, a is equal to 5. We also know that if our foci are at 4, 0 and negative 4, 0, then this distance is 4. And this is also my c distance, so my c is equal to 4. Now if I'm going to write this in standard form, I need my a and my b. But I don't have my a and my b, I have my a and my c. So I need to find b. I can find my b value by using the equation c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. I'm using this equation with a squared listed first because my major axis is in the x direction. So if I plug these values into this equation, I'll have 4 squared is equal to 5 squared minus b squared. This is 16 is equal to 25 minus b squared. Subtract 25 from both sides. I'll have negative 9 is equal to negative b squared, or b squared is equal to 9. Take the square root of both sides and ignore the negative answer, and we'll get that b is equal to 3. So my equation then, if I plug in a and b, would be x squared over 5 squared plus y squared over 3 squared, and that's equal to 1. Simplify, and we have x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. That is the equation of our ellipse in standard form. Now the last thing we have to do is learn how to graph an ellipse. Our equation that we're going to graph is 16x squared plus 9y squared is equal to 144. Now this is not in the standard form of an ellipse equation. So we're going to put it in the standard form. We're going to take 16x squared plus 9y squared, and that's equal to 144, and we're going to divide everything by 144. If I do that, I'll have x squared over 9 plus y squared over 16, and that's equal to 1. You can also think of this as x squared over 3 squared plus y squared over 4 squared, and that's equal to 1. This means that my a is equal to 3, and my b is equal to 4. Now the center of my ellipse is at the origin. My a values are my x values from the center to my vertices in that direction. So if we go from 0, 0 and we go to the right 3, we'll have that point there. And if we go to the left 3, we'll have that point right there. Our b values are our distance from the center to our vertices in the y direction. So if we go from 0, 0 up 4 and then down 4, We'll have those two points, and if we connect all these with a smooth curve, our ellipse would look something like that. So that's how you can graph an ellipse, and that completes our tutorial on ellipses as conic sections.